That was really well done. Yeah, it really was. It still jumped a little bit, but that's kick and par is just fine. on it just a touch yeah you saw that uh just oh, high oh, that's, that's his bail that's what he was doing last year it's just incredible <laughs> that's his bail he gets to hit this ball yeah rory's got no option this has to land short yeah but takes oh, it in it low hard. oh he hit it oh, too yeah. hard he flew it onto the fringe oh look this is going to go almost off the green on that edge just stays yeah, that's the Morris household there, gentlemen, and they got to watch Rory pull a tee shot into the bunker. Maybe he can carry it. Yeah, you'll see that a lot, Taylor. Uh, all right, the third, Rory. Pretty straightforward, Mark. Shiny grass looks like it was down great, and that makes contact easier. Just rumbles on to about seven, eight feet. He should, at worst, be two under, really. Well, your call is so well founded. I mean, oh. this is Rory, best driver of the ball in the game, and he's driving it real well right now. And he's even par four the week on these par fives, and that is ludicrous because the par fives, to me, are kind of the underbelly of the golf course. It's where you have to make your score. Wide stance there. I was playing this like a bunker shot. Go, oh, gosh, came out so fat. Boy, it stopped his club almost immediately too. It looks like he's going over houses, Kurt. Yeah, there's out of bounds right here, but he's going to take it right over the the corner of the dog leg. Oh. Lauer and Hoagie are up on the green. Oh, oh. my gosh, he just <laughs> drove it right on the green. <laughs> he made bogeys at seven and eight, so no wonder he's in a little bit of a bad mood. Just lacking a little bit of speed. A little more work left than he would have liked to try to get back on track. Not quite getting what he wanted out of his round. He's not going to be happy if he three putts after driving in the green. Yeah, that was a good looking stroke right there. Maybe that gets him turned around. He's had a lot of success around here. I bet hit the oh, ground. Softly. Flirting left. Oh, no. No, it won't. Yeah, that went straight into the hazard, so unfortunate for McElroy. This looking pretty good also. Looking very good. All right, don't spend too much. That's nicely under the hole. So, you know, Robert and I were talking about just driving the ball down your way back in the day. Players used to lay back. Four in the end. All right, so confidence for Rory McIlroy. So he does not drop a shot despite going in the hazard here at the 11th. Provided by Trackman. Uh, just don't keep it going right when it was kind of pushing it that way. Not no. sure if it caught fairway or not. No, it, it did. A it absolutely no, did. <laughs> This towering high and at it. Yeah, nice one. That's going to come up well short for Rory at the front of the green. Oh, well, that's inexcusable. This one's not short. That's going to be really good speed. Kind of drifting off to the left, but. Big gusts of wind coming through, though. It wouldn't surprise me if he backs off. Nope. All right, confident. So, Rory. Find it. All right, there you go. So, Rory McElroy. Oh, it's definitely hurting that. <laughs> got blown up by the wind there. Can't come up way short. Wow. Well, the line was good. No, I had a good idea. Rory's got 33 yards left for his second on a par three. 
Holy power outage. What happened there? It's been okay. He started off not hitting bad putts, but really making nothing. But he's turned it around and been rolling it very well, just like so. Oh, he loves it. Looks really good. Into the wind flies at 289. Yeah, just real he's trying stock. to cut it up. And, yeah, but he's double crossed it, pulled it left. All right, stays on the fringe. That is just fine. It's one of those putts that you can go ahead and hit because it's kind of into the grain at the very end. So, what you think, Robert? That was a pretty. Uh, Pretty well done there. He's four under on the back nine. Yep, conditions. See that flag, that pond. And this is the final par three, Dan, 179 yards. Rory McIlroy putting for birdie facts. Well, Harry Diamond told me when they were making the turn, he's never seen Rory so upset after his three putt bogey on seven. And his bogey on eight. And now look at that back nine. He drove the 10th green for the first time in tournament history and made two putts from off the fringe now, both on 13 and on 17. Oh, look at this perfect angle. Kicked a little bit to the left off the fringe. Slight break back to the right. McElroy magic. And McElroy's second coming home from 133. Down off the left today, this front pin. This will be green light from here. Yeah, what a finish this could be. For McElroy, this from 19 feet. He was plus one for the tournament when he came to the 10th hole earlier today. And how about this back nine of 30? Crazy stuff. 36 of the last nine coming home. He had just 10 putts in the final nine holes. Thanks for watching the PJ Tour on YouTube. To watch more, Click here and to subscribe, click here.